like to do a quick demonstration of setting up an MTX style multi-tool for from Wilson Tool. So when you get the multi-tool itself, it'll come in a box, you'll, you'll pull that out of the box, and none of the punches or stripper plates are installed in it yet, so you need to do that first. So what you're going to do is, I usually start with my stripper plates, turn the tool upside down and decide which strippers are going in which locations, and then install them. They just uh, kind of slide into position and this button holds them in place. There we go, so that's the one, two, and three. And then I have my punches and I need to screw a head into the punches. Those two I've already done, but uh, this one I need to screw the head in. So this is a special head that works with the MTX multi-tools. The punch is a standard B-size punch in this case. Um, so I screw this in most of the way, and according to the instruction sheet, I would adjust that to 4.9 inches, so I could measure that with a caliper, or we also put a line on the flange of the tool that I can use for that adjustment. And I can just hold it up here and, and get that adjusted so that that line matches up. That's a little bit too short. And now I'm right on. So I would check that with all three of my tools. So they all look good. So I'm ready to put those into the tool now. So now I need to remove the head and there's a button on the side of the head that I push to release the tool, the head, so that it comes up off of there. And then I drop my punches in. And what I need to do is turn the skid plate around over the station that I'm going to be adding the punch to. So this is for my triangle. Line that up, drop the punch in. And then usually there's a little fiddling with the stripper plate in order to get that to drop all the way in. And after I drop the punch in, I want to make sure that that skid plate still turns freely. It doesn't rub on anything for some reason. So let's go to the square. There I go. I just needed to Twist my skid plate just a little bit there. That one looks good. And then my rectangle. And there we go, and my skid plate turns around nice and freely. So I don't have anything sitting at a wrong height in there, that's good. And then I need to put the head back on, so I'm looking for this big lobe on the head to line up with that opening in the skid plate. So I'll put the head on. And to start with, it didn't drop all the way on, and I can tell that because I see this line real clearly. It's sitting up too high. And the instructions say that this line should be just barely, barely visible. So if I turn the head a couple of clicks around here, now it dropped down into position because it lined up correctly on the skid plate now. Drop down into position. And now before it goes into the machine, we do need to turn the head around so that zero lines up over zero on the flange. Zero on the head lines up over the zero mark on the flange. And it's locked in position now, ready to go into the machine.